So how do you file the quarterly IFTA fuel tax return? We're gonna go over that, and at the end of the video, I'll be answering some of the most popular questions about IFTA. But before we go over how to complete the return, let's briefly talk about what IFTA is. So what is IFTA? Well, IFTA stands for International Fuel Tax Agreement, and it's a fuel tax agreement between the states, all the states, well, except Alaska, Hawaii, and DC, and it covers areas in Canada too. That's why it's called international. So basically, each state wants to be paid fairly uh, for you using their roads with all this heavy equipment. And one of the ways the states get paid is by charging us fuel tax when we buy fuel. But the problem with truckers is that we're traveling across all these different state lines and filling up, but we may be filling up in different states, but some states may not be getting their fair share of your fuel taxes when it happens. So for example, if you travel from Illinois to Ohio, you could go through Indiana, you use Indiana roads, but you may only fill up in Ohio. Well, in that case, Indiana hasn't been paid for you using their roads. So we file a quarterly fuel tax return with your home state to sort all this out and make sure each state's getting their fair share of your fuel tax purchases. And on that return, we report the number of miles we drive in each state and the number of gallons purchased in each state. So now let's talk about how to file the quarterly fuel tax return. Okay, so, so I'm in Indiana and I file my IFTA online through Indiana's online portal and I can also make the payment online as well for any balances that are due. So how you file it, it may be different in your state, but the information needed uh, to file it should be the same. So let's talk about what we need to file it. So you're gonna need two things. The first thing you're gonna need is the total miles that you drove in each state for that quarter and you're gonna to need to know the total gallons of fuel that was purchased in each state for the quarter. So the miles. So in this example here, you traveled through five states, Tennessee, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina. So where do you get the miles from and how do you know this information? Well, you should be able to get this information from your ELD and that's the electronic logging device. Uh, for example, like keep trucking, if you're using keep trucking, uh, there's a report in there that will give you the miles by state and you can use that miles by state report to figure out how many miles you traveled in each state uh, for the quarter. So you should be able to get the miles from your ELD reports. If you log in, there should be a dashboard that has all kinds of reports and one of the reports sh should tell you the miles by state. So. In this example here, like I said, we went through five states for a total of 24,000 miles. So after the miles, you need to know the gallons of fuel that you purchased for the quarter for each state. And you're gonna do that by this is if you don't have a fuel card. So if you don't have a fuel card, what you're gonna do is gather up all your receipts for the quarter, and then you need to separate them by state. And then you literally need to add up the fuel purchased on each receipt so that you know how much fuel you purchase for each state. So literally get your big stack of receipts, go through and start tallying them up. Maybe you're using like a spreadsheet or you write them all down on a separate sheet of paper, but you need to know the total gallons of fuel that you purchase on each state, that you purchase in each state, and you're gonna use the receipts to get that. So that could be a very tedious process. That's why I personally, I think fuel cards are very, very helpful for IFTA because if you're using a fuel card, and a fuel card, is, it's not a credit card, it's a separate fuel card, uh, and if you don't know what that is, uh, let me know in the comments. If I get enough comments, I can make a video about it. But you're gonna go get the fuel card log into the fuel card uh, dashboard and then that fuel card dashboard will be able to tell you the total fuel that you purchased uh, in each state how much it cost and it's going to give you a nice report that lists all the fuel transactions for each state for the quarter so you can then just take that report and use that to get the total gallons that you purchased for the quarter okay Oh, and one more thing, if you, if you are using the receipts, make sure you're using the actual, uh, actual receipt, not a prepaid receipt. Some 
Some people, uh, they prepay for fuel, but they, the prepaid fuel receipt doesn't have the gallons purchased. You need, so if you buy fuel prepaid, once you're done filling up, you need to go back into the cashier and get the actual finalized receipt because the finalized receipt will have the gallons of fuel that was purchased because you're gonna need that to fill out the IFTA. So now that you have the miles for the state and you have the gallons by the state, what you wanna do next is take that information and go to your state's uh, like IFTA reporting process and start to put that information in. Now, like I said at the beginning, I'm gonna go over a few questions uh, that I see out there about IFTA, quarterly tax filings. Do I need to file a separate return for each truck? No, this is the total miles and the total gallons for the fleet. You don't file a separate IFTA return for each truck, it's for the fleet. Do I put the loaded miles or the empty miles? So this is the total miles traveled through each state. It doesn't matter if it's loaded or deadhead, empty, it's the total miles that you travel through each state. The gallons, is it the gallons used? No, this is the gallons purchased, not the gallons used. Do I list the state if there's no fuel? Yes, all that means is that we drove through South Carolina and we never filled up. What are the deadlines? So it's quarterly, right? So that's four tax returns you're gonna to have to file throughout the year. And it's due at the end of the following month of the quarter. So Q1 is due at the end of April, Q2 is due at the end of July, Q3 is due at the end of October, and Q4 is due at the end of January. So just wanted to put a quick video together uh, about the quarterly IFTA fuel tax returns. Hope that was helpful to you. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, give, it a, give it a thumbs up if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.